the women stop stop not not all women but the ones that do it like just get that get that young brother that's trying to build something and believe in him and push him because you'll be you'll be you'll be shocked at what happens when you push that young brother yo 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 team jackson it's your boy ty it's your girl shara and we're back with another video you dig it you dig it you dig it let's do this Look, we happy to be back, you feel me? If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every single time we drop a video, and we will be dropping a lot more, because we got some new stuff we've been working on, that's going to bless y'all, I believe. Uh, and uh, what do I just say? If you're new to the channel, oh, and then, <laughs> it's been that long, if you've been rocking with us, we say what? Welcome. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been yeah. a while. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, y'all. So it's good to see y'all. Um, yeah. So some turkey cutlets. All right. Cauliflower. And this, this just let y'all know. I don't know. You know, she be throwing stuff at me that she gonna cook, but I honestly like. I be seeing it with y'all, so real time. Um. So we'll pray and get on into the goodness. Let's do it, Father. We thank you for the food we about to receive from the nurse of our body in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. And I forgot to mention, I got some public sweet tea. <laughs> and I got some water, you did. Full of calories, but you know. I got the I got the bit. water on deck, you did. <laughs> and I got the cayenne pepper that going all, all over the, my food. You got his black pepper too. And I got my black, my black. Yes. And happy Mother's Day, Shar. Thank you, thank you. And happy, happy Mother's Day. To, yeah, go ahead. Go happy ahead. Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And we appreciate each and every one of y'all. Even if you don't have a biological child, you probably, happy Mother's Day yeah, to you. You're um, probably a mother to somebody. I'm pretty sure you've mothered someone. And so we appreciate I all eat. mothers. Yeah, go ahead and eat. Now, why you got so many greens and I don't? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I don't know. But there's more in there. I know. You know, more. I'm just messing with you. Um. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Had to Day. get that out, y'all. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. And while we doing that, let me say this. I want to say R.I.P. to Kevin Samuels. Um, yeah, I'll say that for now. And uh, I may, may say a little more later. You know what I'm saying? It's, I, it, it was kind of <clears> tough <throat> for me. I mean... Losing anybody is tough, but um, yeah, you know, our ahead, condolences to his friends, um, family, you know, regardless of what people think about his views, there's still people that's connected to him, absolutely, that are hurting right now. Um, especially condolences to, to his mother, I believe he has a daughter, he has a daughter from his first um, marriage, or whatever. If he has other children, I'm not sure, but I know, I know you said he had sure a daughter, daughter from his first, first marriage, so all I've heard him say, but um, one thing that I want to talk about a little bit is death notification on social media. Oh, no. Um, Y'all, regardless of what you feel about what he said and all that, but you got to imagine this. Imagine you're getting ready to go on Amazon and buy some pillows or whatever. And I'm not saying that that's the route she took, but pretty much um, you're minding your business and then all of a sudden you look on the internet and you see that your, your child. child has passed away. And so there's a level of compassion I feel that people should have when someone actually passes away. And there's this thing going on where people want to beat everyone to the punch. Like they want to be the first one to tell you um, as a blogger or whatever. They want everybody to know I'm the first one to broke the story. I don't understand why people want to break a death story. Like... When somebody dies, you kind of want to sit on it, make sure the family's notified first. Then if you want to talk about it, maybe talk about it at that point. But I just think it's really sad how his mother had to find out that way. And I'm not sure if she went on face. I don't know where she went, but I'm just saying. It don't matter. You can just imagine you, you going on your phone or your computer, and then you find out something about someone you love has died. Crazy. And everyone in the world is talking about it, and you're sitting there like, don't have any answers to what's going on. So, um, condolences to them, man. The family. Because even like now, 
people will be quick. So once someone passes away, people will be quick to make sure everybody knows about, you know, make sure everybody, they make sure everybody knows they know about it. And to me, that's not what's important. To me, what's important is the proper notification happens first and whatever. And also speaking of deaths, there's a lot of people rejoicing. Sick. Y'all sick. Over. Pretty much dancing on his grave. Y'all sick. Um, <laughs> I said over and over. Yeah, he's passed away. But, see, um, but go ahead. I'm sorry. One of the problems is this, y'all. A lot of people are judging are judging this man off of sound bites. They're judging this guy off of clips, and they haven't really watched the content to really see what what he really represents. So what I've taken away from the times I watched them, and see, I don't have the, I'm not watching them for the same reason a lot of other people are. But I do have a, three daughters. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how these people are thinking out here and what these people are being taught. And then I want to see also how many people are actually buying it. You see what I'm saying? So, um, but a lot of people, what I, what I took from what he was saying a lot was like black people. Be realistic. Like, don't be delusional. And step your game up. Men, step your game up. Women, you know. Why can't you just have an average man? Why you got to have somebody that got, that can buy you Chanel bags and, you know, that can take care of your kids that you're bringing in from a different relationship or... All of that stuff, like, why why can't you settle for an average guy that makes $40,000? Why does he have to make $400,000 so you can have a beach house, a house overseas, and a house here in the States? That's what the guy pretty much was preaching. And, you know, sometimes he'd be kind of snappy, and he would be kind of snappy because you calling in and you being sarcastic, you 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 calling them gay, you... You know, I mean, you know, no, nobody's talking about the things that people would say to him or some of these people that he would go off on what would end up happening before he just gets snappy? I mean, I'm just saying. I know you you probably got something. But I think the issue that a lot of people... I think the issue mainly with him is his terminology. You're saying an average guy. Some guys might be like, what are you trying to say? I'm beneath? No, you average. I, I mean, but what does that mean? Okay, I'm going to tell, tell you his example. I'm going to tell you his example. In a company, you got a janitor and a CEO. Mm -hmm. Are they the same people? No. Or are they, and they are they levels? I guess just, you're saying levels as far as maybe job. We're, we're talking finances. finances. That's what he's strictly talking. That's what I'm saying. I think the issue is when you call somebody average or you're saying they're not up to par, I guess a lot of when, when you talk about the sound bites, people aren't sure where he's coming from. Right. They're saying, like, how are you going to call my daddy? Average. He's, saying, he's one of the best men. I, he's saying, you if, what if, I'm saying if you're in America, you're making forty thousand dollars. You're average. If you're making two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you're above average. It's just like saying middle class, upper class, upper middle class, right. low class. I mean, it's just that's just life. I get. It. I'm just saying. I think that that's the issue. But so I, think, think about it. You don't know nothing about this guy. Right. And he's rating people, telling this person is high value. Now and and, this and, and to his defense, value. he didn't come up to he didn't come up with that term either. Right? I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But he, I'm he, saying he, he kind of put a framework around it, but he didn't come up with that. That's what I'm saying. If I tune into his video today, and this is another example, y'all, you have to kind of see what people are saying totally. Too, I might say something today that you hate, but just give me another chance because tomorrow I might say something. Or maybe watch the whole video oh, 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 and see what she say let's, after let's that. See after that, right? So. I don't have a lot to say about him because I have not watched all of his stuff. Right. If I was a day one person with him, I'll go in about what I think. But one thing I can say is I've seen some things, I've heard some things he said that made a lot of sense. Then there's other days I've heard some things he said and I'm kind of like, hmm? Really? But, well, most people don't like, and keep remember that, but most people don't like the delivery. The delivery? The name, but, but what he be saying... It'd it be realistic, man. Yeah, a lot of the stuff he say, and then what he, yeah, what he, what he used to say. And like I was saying, you, you're, you're tuning in and you're hearing this guy say, "Tell people they average." And so, to me, you ain't telling me I'm average. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, delusional. But he's talking from a level of, I guess, income. Real, I guess. realistic. He's saying if if you make, but okay, I if you know. live in, if you make uh, twenty thousand dollars and live in the projects. Are you going to call yourself a high middle class family? No. Because just the reality is that you're in the low class. Right. 
Right. But I think... People, and then what he's saying is do something to get out of it. I think he's look. people are looking at it as... Work 60 hours, work 80 hours, do whatever you have to do. The classification of worth as a person. You understand what I'm saying? Versus income. But he's talking about income. That's why you can't take it out of context. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Don't take it out of context, right? Because mm -hmm. if you watch what he's saying and don't look... What, what's the first thing I say? I said... Don't look at sound bites. Don't look at clips. If you want to judge a person, go back and listen to what these people, what they're saying in its entirety. It's just like a sermon. If you walk to a sermon, and a pastor, you, first thing you hear pastor say is, they don't receive you to hell with them clowns. You might be like, oh, I'm in the wrong church. Mm -hmm. But what was he saying? He might have been talking about some atheist. And the scripture that says, shake the dust off your feet if they don't want to receive you. But you judging the awful because you walked in and he said to hell with these clowns. Ain't that true? It's true. Yeah. But I see what you're saying, though. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Some of the stuff he say, I be like, this don't make no sense to me. However, can I really judge him in totality? No, because I have not seen. You ain't seen enough to even know what his objective is. Right. His objective is to help the black community get better, help black men. Like, everybody just finding out now. About the stuff he's been putting together for the black youth, um, him, you know, paying for the black youth to a black black young men to get with businessmen in every state, put them in Airbnbs so they could see what it looked like to be a, to be a businessman. He also says it ain't nothing wrong if you work in the warehouse. If you're driving a truck, that's one of the, being a truck driver is one of the biggest deals, one of the biggest things you can do to to make over over six figures. But I think. Um um, I think what's important too is to, like one thing I do get out of some of the stuff he says is expectation. It's not fair, you know, mind you, you may not like how he said it, but it's not fair for you to have an expectation of somebody that you don't have. Like it's not fair for me to, um, excuse me, let's say I want a man that um, completes college. And I want him to have a six-figure job. It's not fair for me to expect that from somebody. And then I don't even have my GED or whatever. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I understand to a certain degree what it's, it's hip, hip, the hypocrisy of it all, right. pretty much. And I think that's what some of what he was trying and, to say. And a lot of the women he was saying would, would be mad because guys telling you what he want. Like, well, who we think he is to say he want a woman that look like this and do this and do that and... That's uh, cooperative and submissive, blah, 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 blah. But then, it's okay when women come out and say, I don't want no scrubs. I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me, hanging on the passenger side of his best friend ride, trying to holler at me. Yeah. Trying to holler at me? Like, okay, wait. So you don't want that kind of person. But if I say, I don't want no, no, you know, you know, I don't want this type of woman, that kind of woman with, with, with four children. I'm judged. But I think, let me, let, me, let me tell you the hurt behind that. Let me tell you why. Because there's some people that leave us in those predicaments. Now, no, no, accountability, because that's, that's something I'm going to talk about another day. We got to be accountable for our actions and everything we do. We know every time you lay down with somebody, guess what? Pregnancy is... A possibility. Let's just be honest. Right. Every time you let, I don't care how much contraceptive you have. I don't care what y'all do. There is a chance. That's if there was no chance, then every um, which birth control contraceptive would say a hundred percent. But because none of them say a hundred percent except for abstinence, that means that there's going to be some type of possibility that you're going to have a a a child. That's like one hundred percent. So every time you do something, women, men, there's a possibility. And I think some of the hurt that's behind it is some girls, yes, we do. We make mistakes. We have children or we might have a child. And it's hurtful to hear someone say that, okay, I made this mistake. So now I'm not worth anything because I made a dumb decision when I was okay. What he's saying life. to the younger women that's watching is don't make that mistake. Right, but what about so, the one who has? Right, and he, he and then he talk, he speaks to them as well by saying your expectations can't be through the roof when you want a man to take on you, your one, two, 
three kids, and has to deal with the baby daddy. So you got one man over here that's been busting his tail, going to school, working 60, 70 hours a week to get where he got by himself, doing okay. Now he got five people that's about to come in his life that he's going to be responsible for. You can eat it. Um, then the la- and I guess the issue is this. Is it necessarily fair? Now, when you think about it, and I'm not saying that he said this or whatever, but think about it. There's some men that have 10 kids. Okay? Right, right. So if a man got ten, has 10 kids and... Should his expectation be like, I want the flyest no. girl? No, because of, um, it, it could be because America is so screwed. Because if he got the 10 kids, guess what? The 10 kids won't be moving in with you. How you know? Okay, what's the percentage that a man get a child? But but that's if the man want the child. Two. Charlotte, this is what I'm saying. I'm just saying the level. If the of- man want the child, the, it's a 95% chance he's going to go to court and not get him. Yes, that's just the truth. That's, that's the truth. I mean, Look, let's just talk about the truth. This is America. 90, 95% of the time, a man is not going to have his kids unless the woman on drugs or something. I understand that, but the truth is this. What I'm saying is, is the perception the same? I'm not talking about who has the kids, who don't have the kids. If a guy has 10 kids, is he still... Sorry, and let's say he makes... But you can't say that. No, I'm going to say, if you say... Is it the, if I got 10 kids and he got 10 kids... Uh-huh. It's different. Why? Because the kids are with you and moving in my house. What if the kids ain't living with the mama? Because if the kids ain't living with the mama, the mama's living with well, the can, can we talk about what the majority... What, what, what the majority I'm just asking. I'm just saying, I, I get what you're saying. That's a special case that will have to be dealt with case by case because it's rarely going to happen, I say. But when since when the kids ever... The mama ain't demanding the kids and child support. I know that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying on, on the level of perception... Okay. As far as who's considered a high value or average person, I'm saying, it, no, I'm not talking about who has the kids, who don't have if the kids. If I have 10 kids and they don't come with me, it's going to lower my value. Okay. That's all I'm asking. If Even if they don't come with me. Because that's money out the house, I got to go to 10 kids. That's all I'm asking. Right. Is it, is it like the same, not the same, but is it kind of like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's that's kind of weird. They even try to talk about that when we know that's normally not the case. Because most of the, most of the time, you're you're coming in with children if you're a woman. You're bringing them with you. Yeah, but there's a lot of men that have kids too. Sure, I know, but we talking about billions of people. The the majority of the number is the women that got the kids. Of course, in every situation, there's gonna be exceptions. No, I wasn't talking about kids living with you. I was just saying, like, how like, many like, kids you have. You right, know what I'm that, right. I understand, but it's it's a difference when they're there seven days a week and when when they're there four days a month. Okay, I guess we're just looking at it differently. But I'm I, just looking at like if you have kids, not like who it stays. Stay right, right, right. That. But but I, I just I just said if you have kids, it's going to be it's going to be. A situation, especially if you're active, and that means money going out the house, even if the kids don't live there. You know, you know what I'm saying? So if I got ten kids, that's gonna affect you somehow. If I marry you with ten kids, knowing I got to put money into these children, right? Whether it's school clothes or just child support. Okay. That could be twenty five hundred dollars a month. Got to go out the house. You like, man? You know what we could do with this twenty five hundred dollars? So it's gonna affect you as well. But I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, how, what made you have that question? I, I forgot the point we were trying to make. No, I was trying to say is, is it the same level playing field? Like when you talk about women that have children, it's almost like, okay, well, you're a woman that has kids, so you shouldn't have no expectations. So I'm like, okay, if it's a man that has a lot of kids, should his expectation right. be the same as hers, or is it a different type of standard? Oh, well, That's all I'm well, saying. now you can look at it like this. For what those women are asking for, mm-hmm. they're asking for the man to take care of them, not for them to take care of the man. So it is a different situation because if the man got ten kids, he got to take care of his ten kids and your two. Okay, I got. So you. if the, the what these what most of them women are asking for or were asking for, I should say past tense, was for a man that will take care of them. Okay. I want to stay home. So I mean, you need to make five hundred thousand dollars because I want nice things. I want to have. I want to. Send all our kids to college. I want to travel internationally. I want to do this. I want to do that. They're asking for this stuff. So you come in asking for all of that with three kids. That's a lot. 
Yeah. And 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 then what he and then what he what he spoke about mainly what a lot of people because so I saw some people trying to say who the person he was with the night before. He wasn't trying to marry her. He was speaking about what, what kind of women men want to marry. If you if y'all know anything about men, men will, they'll take whatever. You be ugly, fat, Jeez. anything. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's yeah. just the reality. At certain times, men will take it. But he saying marry, and what he tried to, what he preached a lot and tried to promote a lot was marriage. That's the part that I don't hear nobody talking about either. I don't hear nobody talking about the testimonies of all the people that's gotten married through the, his through his content. So everybody's not gonna like you, but and he was harsh. I don't agree with everything. I don't agree with a lot of what he said. But what I do agree with, I can't act like I don't. I think I think what you agree with, and correct me if I'm wrong. I think his overall heart is to say, "Okay, y'all, we need to do better as a, a community." Right. It may come off and like, stop being delusional. Like stop make better decisions so that way and stop know, being man. delusional. Everybody is being delusional. Like like I want I I'm I I live in the project. I want a man that make five hundred thousand dollars. I ain't done nothing for myself and I got five kids. How you gonna tell me I can't find a man to take care of me and my five kids that make over five hundred thousand dollars? Like, first off, get off your sorry tail and get out the project. I think I think what it is is I think um, the realization is saying this, and I think he says it in such a harsh way, but what he's saying is if I am a person that work hard and let's say I make five hundred thousand dollars a year, you wouldn't be the first person on my list to marry. What? No, that's that's what, not what he was saying. What is he saying? He's saying if you're an average woman, I got to use that because you got I'm putting this in monetary state. You make thirty five thousand dollars. Why are you pushing a brother aside that make forty thousand? Eighty five percent of people make that. The men embrace that brother and love that brother. Y'all go get married. Why you gotta have this dude that's making two hundred and fifty thousand? That's all he was saying. I guess my question is, who is qualified to have a brother that makes five hundred thousand dollars a year? Huh? Who is qualified to have a man? Well, I'm. I, that makes well, 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 I'm. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm guessing somebody. That ain't got a, 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 a army full of kids. Somebody that look like something. If the man wants somebody that's beautiful, if he wants somebody that's beautiful, he want what he want. But I'm just saying, you missing the point. When you 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 have nothing, and you demanding what you want. No, I'm not missing the point. No, I'm I just understand saying that it's a it, hypocr it, it, hypocr what, what, hypocrisy. What's qual a woman with kids is qualified if she come in submissive, humble. Um, if she come in feminine, if she come in, some, you know, if she if she come in with a with a nice nurturing vibe. I just think the issue is the standard. It's like who is anybody like to me, like this guy that makes that five hundred thousand dollars a year. His standard might be a little different from this other guy that has five hundred thousand dollars. Right, year. but why don't we talk about the standard of the woman that's making thirty thousand? That's that's a, that's crapping on the person that makes forty five thousand. No. That, that's what that's the point you, you we got to talk about the point we're not every time i say the point of what he was saying you ask me another question the point in what he was saying is why are these average women overlooking these average men instead of them coming together they're saying i don't want that i want somebody that can do this give me lavish vacations to give me th that's the women that call into his show no i understand the point what i'm saying is Okay, if you're saying these women are not qualified, my question is... What do you mean not qualified? qualified? Like, for instance, if I'm not qualified because I make $40,000 Sure, that doesn't make you not I qualified. Got, it's your attitude, honey. You, you're missing the point. Uh, uh, no, but I'm not telling... I'm, I'm not... I'm telling you, like, if I make $40,000... you are asking who's qualified. Like, that's a weird question. No, what I'm saying is somebody... If somebody... If all these people are not qualified, somebody has to be... Okay, what I just said for the fourth time... He's not even. Let's not talk about who's qualified. Okay. Why are you? Why is the thirty five, the thirty thousand dollar woman saying the forty five thousand dollar person ain't qualified? That's the question. Right. I understand that. So let's answer that first, because I keep saying I that, and we're not why. talking about it. I don't know why. We're talking about the five hundred dollar, thousand dollar man. That's not what he was trying to say. He was like y'all crapping on these brothers, these blue collar brothers that's working in these warehouses and that's busting their tail to have make a living. Y'all crapping on them. When y'all should be trying to get with them. 
But y'all saying y'all too good for him. So what makes you too good for him? And what makes you qualified for the $500,000 man versus the $40,000 man? That's the real question that I think we're not speaking to and as a society. Because it's more women than men that's saying, I don't want this man. I don't, I don't want him. I don't, and, and I'm like, y'all outnumber, y'all all single, y'all all getting old. Why are you clowning on this brother? He's a good brother. He he worked his butt off. Yeah, he might be working at GE warehouse or somewhere, but he's working his butt off and he's doing his thing. Why are most women saying, I don't want no scrub? Most women aren't saying that, though. That's the thing. Most of us aren't. I'm, I thought we'd speak. Okay, well, why do the women that call into his show say, I don't want no scrub? I don't know. Because that's what saying. we're talking about. Now, we could talk on a different subject, change the subject. No, what I'm saying is I don't think most women feel that way. I just think there's certain women that feel that way. I think a lot of women feel that way. And you keep making trying to compare everybody to you, and I'm telling you, you're... you. I'm you, not comparing everybody to me. Wait, I'm just asking I'm, I'm telling you, the, no, what I'm saying is you're a good woman, in my opinion. You think people should think like you. Because I know you. You think like it's logical, right? It's logic. To you, it's logic. To these people, it's their feelings. Most of these women and these men, too, don't think on logic. They think on their feelings. And you are a logical woman. You are a good woman. You do. You take care of business. Most people don't think like you. Okay. And that's the sad situation. Most people don't think like you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They don't. And and like you said, I mean, and to say what, what makes them qualify, I think I answered it when I said... You know, if you come in cooperative and submissive, and and when I say submissive, I don't mean I run your bath water drinking, God master. I'm saying you ain't com combative and confrontational about every little thing, and you bring peace to a man, and a man and bring peace to a woman that goes both ways. You could have probably have a kid and get people that's worth that makes makes millions. But I think what he was trying to speak to was the attitude, because if you go back to what he used to talk about. He used to tell these men, get off your dusty tail. You sorry. Go go work. You work 20 hours a week. You better go work 50 and 60 and 70. You know, he used to talk to the men for three years. I don't hear nobody talking about that. I hear everybody talking about this, the, the, the bad things he said to women. But, I mean, what qualifies, I think, just being a good person. Just being nice. I think you can have kids and still get with anybody. I mean, Sierra got with Russell Wilson, but I bet Sierra didn't come in bumping her gum talking about what it's going to be and what she deserved. I bet Sierra came in like a humble woman, cooperative, submissive, like, Russ, what do we need? He just got traded to Denver. I bet she was like, okay, I mean, what, what, when we leaving? Versus, I ain't, well, I done got settled here, and I opened up a coffee shop in Seattle. I ain't going, I guarantee she didn't give that guy that kind of flag. He's raising her kid. Just like he's raising the kids, and I ain't in their house, but I'm almost sure that he loved them just like he loved his own, or he wouldn't put it be in a situation. So, what I mean, we see it happen every day, but I, I think I think the point of it is just being realistic. And then black men get off our butts. I mean, all men get off get off our butts and let's be better, let's be greater. You know what I'm saying? And this is a very interesting conversation, and the reason I appreciate it because, you know, we've talked like this before. And the beauty, the beauty in having a conversation like this is when you can be passionate about something and still listen to somebody else's point of view. You know what I mean? But, you know, I mean, do you still have the question about what qualifies? I just had a, because this, it, yeah, no, I don't have a question about that anymore, but I was just, it was just a curious point as to, you know, it's very clear who shouldn't get you know, and I, but I mean, who shouldn't get what? Who sh who's not qualified or whatever. But I guess for me, um, I understand what he's saying, but at the same time, it's like, and I think he's speaking from a perspective of men. That's how some of those men think. You but know, it's not I, a, but it's not a blanket. Yeah, it's not a blanket. But he did say most of the most of the ones he talked to is that's, how, what that's they how they think. feel, right? And they and they feel like, why are you coming to the table with demands? And I got you want me to take care of your two kids. Right. That kind of thing. Right. Cause, I, mean, cause I just think everybody needs to be more realistic. Yeah, I think on a realistic... And stop stop dissing these these brothers. That are talking about, I don't want no scrubs. I know that's an old song, but that's still the philosophy. That's my point. 
Stop dissing these blue these blue collar brothers that's working and trying to get there. See something in them and believe in them, and y'all join forces and be great. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a lot of cases where someone does make twenty to forty thousand dollars a year, but if they have support, they end up being millionaires. That's they end up being, that's um, the point. Like, making a lot more stop, money. stop saying I ain't, I won't go for this, or he ain't make enough money for me. Like, and look, especially a few years ago, the first thing a lot of women would ask is how much you make. I just picked you up from Camelot Trailer Park. I just picked you up from Tanglewood Trailer Park, and you talking about how much money I make. Look, this is like this is this is another thing too. Like <laughs> some women, they do have in their mind that they do not want to work, mm -hmm. and they 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 want to be taken care of, and that and I don't see nothing wrong with that. But like you were saying, like but if I have ten kids. The likelihood of a millionaire wanting to marry me might be slim. <laughs> it's just the truth. I'm not trying to be funny, and I people might not get. I'm not saying that you're not valued or nothing. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, like, if a millionaire uh, sees me with ten kids and they see another girl with maybe one, he might choose the one okay. girl with one. Ain't that what homeboy was saying? I think that's what he was saying, but you know, whatever. Only thing you don't like is how he was <laughs> how he out said, yeah, he spazzed out, and then some things he said I didn't like. But and, I'm thinking, oh yeah, now the, the part, thinking, the part yeah. about you know men with a lot of money got choices and gonna go out and have yeah. you know, stuff like that. I was like, bro, that, that ain't got to be the case. I mean, men may have options. That don't mean they got to go and exercise them. Because you, you know, I think he probably shouldn't exercise the option to bring that girl home with him that that night before he was found. You yeah. Know, he was dead, but I mean, at the same time, I'm like. Yeah, but but there might be a millionaire that won't, will marry. So let's say he's so in love with her, and she got ten kids. He'd be like, "I'll uh, take care of all ten. I, that might happen too. So if, if she if if, her, if them kids ten kids stand with her mama, and she don't <laughs> and she don't tell him until after he head over heels for it, then he might just be mad for decep for the deception. <laughs> but yeah, we 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 uh we just we just want we. <laughs> We want to just drop in, y'all. And look, I mean, y'all know we couldn't care less because we're not in that. We're not in that search. We're yeah. not in that world. So I'm just asking. But it's interesting to know how people think because, you know, a 20 year old daughter, what, 11 year old daughter, and a nine year old daughter. Mm -hmm. You want to know how folk thinking. But I'm just asking, like, you know, people, I know hate is opinion, but my thing is this. You know, we all have opinions that. There's probably some stuff I said that y'all don't like today. And there's probably stuff he I said. Know, I like know they today. mad at me. <laughs> but but the, the truth of the matter is we all have opinions that someone does not agree with. And that's just the truth of the matter. You can't tell me that every single thing you said in your entire life, everybody was good with it. That's not the truth. So this man was just heavily opinionated. And the difference is he actually has a platform. That's the difference because there's a lot of people sitting Huge on their couch. Room. Saying that believe the same thing. the same thing he believes, but because he's a public figure, you know, normally when you're a public figure, the hate is greater. Yeah. Um, anyway, I just ask that people have a little bit more compassion for his loved ones, um, and don't dance on somebody's grave because I'm telling it you, might, somebody might be dancing on yours next week. Death is you gotta an, be careful. Death is, we're all gonna die. That's a fact. I mean, we don't know when it's gonna happen, and we would hope that upon death. That people have at least a certain level of compassion to our loved ones or to yeah, people that are left back, regardless if I made you mad yesterday. And I just think it, we got to show a little more compassion. He, he had his opinion. That's how what he strongly believed in. Um, he had a platform to do it. He made millions doing it. And, and, um, yeah, and a lot of that was controversial. He even said it to bring people in to get them to listen. But when you listen to like. The heart, the heart of, of what he was saying. He was saying, you know, men, we we've been frowned on, you know, for twenty. We've been doing good for the last twenty, thirty years, changing the narrative with the, with the police. We're standing together as a people. Things are changing. When you really look at the narrative, you know, it, it's it's not what everybody make it. So yeah, it is. But I think I think at the end of the night, what we're trying to say to y'all, as far as being, you know, us over here, Team Jackson is like just focus. Focus on what you want to do, uh, set your goals high, and get off your butt and get them. I do agree with that part of what he said. We, we, you know, we love everybody, black people, white people, but you know, we can speak to our people. Like we can do better. We can change the narrative instead of complaining about the narrative. 
And um and women stop stop not not all women, but the ones that do it, like just get that get that young brother that's trying to build something and believe in him and push him. Cause you'll be you'll be you'll be shocked at what happens when you push that young brother. Um he he'll be that thing that you want. Instead of you saying, Oh God, he drove up and his car cut off and I don't I ain't going to work with him. I don't want no scrub. Yeah, don't I, don't take that approach. I think it's all about. I don't think that. Mo I think the the um, what you call it, the drive of a person is more important than the actual money. money yeah. Of the person. Because what is money at the end of the night? Because somebody might make a hundred thousand a day, but then they might be lazy and then decide they ain't gonna work no more. I mean, <laughs> that because they really didn't have a drive in the first place. Right. So I, I don't think money's not everything. Um, character, anyway, so character, character, ambition, the ability want to want to grow. So. Yeah. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. It's been a long time. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time we drop a video. Um, love conquers all. Together we stand. Divided we all fall. <laughs> Team Jackson, peace, peace and, and love. I'm starting to really believe that communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating more. Let's just start communicating more. Let's have more conversations.